we're going to start off looking at how to open a document, create a new document, or save a document. I know you've done it before, but things are just a little bit different in Word 2013 that it's a good idea to go over this. So let's start with open a document. What we do is we go to the back office, that place that we seem to always go. So we're going to go under here and notice that the file has a highlight, a blue highlight for Word. And that represents that when I click on file, things are going to be a little bit different. And when I click on here, even if you didn't know this, now you do. This is called the backstage. So from the backstage, what we're going to do is you can see here, create a new document, open an existing document. And you can see here through the open, we have whatever recent documents that we started. You can see I have two different documents in there. We're going to start a new document. And here we go. Just click on new. And what happens is, like previous versions of Word for Office, is we have a lot of different options as far as the template goes. And I'm going to scroll down here. And what you can see is that this is going to be specific to maybe the time that you are recording or, or doing this. This is right around Halloween time that I put this together. So you can see Halloween party, the colors are orangish and blackish uh, like Halloween. However, you should be able to find pretty much what you need as far as these templates go to open up your document, to start a new document. Save time with that. We're going to go to the standard and that is the blank document. As soon as this starts, if I start typing in, What's going to happen is it's going to take the default font. It's going to have the default paragraph style. You can change that default if you wanted to, but it's going to always go to the same thing when you first start off. Now, we've typed in this document. So again, the basics. Let's go ahead and save it. And you can see down here, we can click Save. And then this is going to look a little bit different. We have this thing, the SkyDrive. And the SkyDrive is cloud services that store your document on the internet instead of your hard drive. And you might be saying, well, why do that? Well, if you store it in the cloud, then you can share it much easier. And also think of this, and you might be this way. You have a lot of different devices. You got a computer in the kids' room, you got a computer in your office, you got a computer at home, you have a Windows RT, or you have some other kind of device that you need to get access or edit these documents. Good luck if it's on your hard drive. It's a little bit difficult. But if it's on the Sky Drive, then you're in business. Then you have it in one place. If you don't have a Sky Drive, you can just sign up. You get a little bit of space for free and more space for a little bit of money. Now, we can do this as well. We can go to the computer, and you can see here if we click on Browse, it looks just like the same dialog box that we had before. So that might throw you off here wondering, well, why, why is Save a little bit different than it was before? We can also print. We'll be going over that some other time. And then Share. Look at this. If it's on the SkyDrive, we can easily share it with somebody else. We can attach it to an email like we did before. We can present this online to somebody. We can post it to our blog. And we can invite people to see it. And this is great. We can put it on the SkyDrive, send them a link to the document, and then they can see the document on the SkyDrive. They don't even need Word to do that. We can also export it. And what export is going to do is save the file under a different format. And I'm going to click here to where it says change file format. So you can see the different types that we have inside of here. Document, Word, template, plain text, simple file, web page, etc. And then finally, to close this out, we took a look at how you open up a document, how you create a new document. Now close, and it's as simple as this, C-L-O-S-E, close. We can click here. It's going to say, do you want to save it? We say, don't save. That's a look at creating a new document, opening up an existing document, and saving your document in Word 2013.